Hello, my name is Braxton Matson. I'm an engineer technician here at LTI. Let me show you how to operate the quick switch. This is a three well quick switch. What makes this unit unique is that it allows the wells to be hot, cold, or frozen at any time and on any well. You have from left to right, well number one, well number two, and well number three. These wells correlate with the controllers on the control panel. Well number one, well number two, and well number three. On the right hand side of the unit, right behind the access door, you have the main circuitry, the motherboard, and the main power switch, otherwise known as the master switch. Now on the left hand side of the unit, behind the access panel, you see we have our drain valve assembly. This is constructed of durable brass and copper components, unlike your PVC type components. Also, we have located the refrigeration components for easy access for service technicians if any maintenance is required. Lastly, in the middle of the quick switch unit, just behind the lever panel, you have the condensing unit. This unit is what cools the wells. First, you must turn on the main power switch. Once this is done, the LED light on the on-off button of each controller will be on and off will be displayed on the screen. When using the H1 to H3 settings in the heat mode, you must make sure that you pour a gallon of water, or roughly an inch of water, inside the well. To do this, make sure the drain valve for that well is closed. However, if using dry heat, settings H4 to H6, you will not need to use water. Now, to turn on the heat mode, simply press the on-off button for three seconds. On will display on the screen. Next, press and hold the heat button for three seconds. H3 will display on the screen. This is the highest setting in the wet mode, and it is also the factory preset setting. Now, let's turn on well two to our cool mode. First. Press and hold down the on-off key for three seconds. On will appear on the screen. Now, press and hold down the cool button for three seconds. C3 will appear on the screen. This is our factory preset setting, and the compressor will then turn on. Another unique feature to the quick switch is the ice cream mode. This allows you to serve frozen product. Let's turn well three to the ice cream mode. First, press and hold down the on-off key for three seconds. On will appear on the screen. Now, press and hold the ice cream mode button for three seconds. Ice will appear on the screen and the compressor will turn on. Now, let's change the factory settings on the quick switch. If the well is running, simply press and hold the cool or heat mode button for three seconds. On will display on the screen. Now, press the set key for three seconds. Set will appear. Now you can press the cool button again to select setting. C3 is the warmest setting in the cool mode. C2 is medium temperature and C1 is the lowest temperature. Once you have it set, press and hold down the set key for three seconds. On will appear and now you can press the cool button for three seconds to turn the unit back on. Refer to the graphic on the screen which shows you the temperature at each setting. Now, repeat these steps to adjust each well. Prepping the wells. Prep the wells by covering them with a lid or pan. In the heat mode, normal tap water should reach 210 degrees Fahrenheit in about 45 minutes. Using hot water will allow the well to reach its maximum temperature in less time. The cool mode setting will reach optimal temperature in about 45 minutes to an hour. Remember to be sure that the pans are correctly positioned in the well. The auto set feature allows the user to preset each well's mode and settings. When using this feature, those preset settings will remain even after the unit is completely turned off. With the wells running on their desired settings, simply turn off the master switch. This turns the quick switch unit completely off. When the master switch is turned to the on position, 
The display of each controller will show auto and the wells will then turn on to their preset settings. Turning off the wells. Instead of using the auto set feature, the user can turn off the wells individually. To do this, first hold the on off button down for approximately three seconds on each controller. Off will be displayed on the screens and the wells will be turned off. Note, we recommend that the master switch be turned to the off position at the end of each day. This ensures that the power to the controller is completely off. Important tips for operation. Never place water in wells that will be used in a cool or ice cream modes. Never place cold water in a preheated dry well. To change from a hot mode to cool or ice cream mode, simply press the desired mode for three seconds. However, there are a few things to be aware of. If you want to change a hot well to a cool well, first remove any water from the well. This can be done by locating the drain assembly on the left hand side of the unit and using the designated drain valve for that particular well. Also, keep in mind the well must cool down to 90 degrees Fahrenheit before the compressor will come on to cool the well on either the cool or ice cream mode. If changing from cool or ice cream mode to the heat mode, you need to be aware that the well will immediately begin heating. 